Good morning. It's Thursday, the 27th of May. May I tell you a story? I like stories. In the days before modern radio technology, a ship was sailing along when it hit fog. Immediately ahead of it, dimly, they could see a light also shining towards them. And they flashed the message, apparent collision course, change course. The response came, your analysis is confirmed. Uh, undoubtedly on collision course, respectfully suggest that you change course. A second message was flashed from the ship, collision course nearing change course this is an admiral speaking then came a response once again your analysis is confirmed potential collision is drawing nearer once again we respectfully suggest that you change course this is the chief petty officer speaking the third message from the ship was flashed out. Collision imminent. Change course. This is a battleship. The response came quickly. Your analysis is confirmed. Collision indeed imminent. Courteously suggest that you change course. This is a lighthouse. I have to confess that on occasions, if not exactly asking the lighthouse to change course, I have implied that he had got it wrong. Maybe that is an issue for the whole church as well. Uh, an old song says, Brightly beams our Father's mercy from his lighthouse evermore. Uh, but we have chosen not to align ourselves with the lighthouse, or as Jesus said about himself, the light of the world. Our pride or thoughtlessness um, has often led us uh, to go our own sweet way. Uh, rather than his but he still pleads lovingly with the people that he cares for and the people he's longing for to give a response uh, align yourself with me let us pray Father God forgive us for our foolishness fecklessness, fallenness. Guide us into alignment with him who is the light of the world to the glory of your name and the benefit of ourselves and others. Amen. Have a good day.